As the weather in San Diego is heating up, so are home values, with the median price of a single-family home topping $1 million. Hi everyone, it's Deva and Eric with Century 21, and we're back with a market update for July. Let's take a look at what's happened over the past several weeks, and then we'll check out the long-term trends. All right, so let's check out what happened between May and June of this year. Yeah, so between May and June, we have a 4% more new listings, which is some more new listings, but not a lot, and really only equates to a handful of listings per zip code. Not a ton of help for buyers there. Uh, we're down 0.6% in pending sales, and we are down 0.8% in closed sales, so really flat from last month. And we have uh, 216 more uh, percent more homes for sale, and that's due to the uh, little bump in uh, new listings and a little drop in pending sales. And median price is up another 2.4 percent. All right, let's zoom out and take a look at the year-over-year -year trends. Sure. New listings. Yes, new listings. Looking at the uh, long-term trends here, we have the last uh, three years on the on the bar graphs, and these line charts go all the way back uh, to 2012. And every vertical line is six months. Yes. So again, uh, we're down with new listings from last year by a lot, 42% uh, less new listings in June of 23 than 22. That's, that's not, again, great news for buyers, and that's a, a similar gap here on the uh, attached properties. And then year to date, again, we're, we're, we're down about the same, 38% uh, down and 34% on the um, attached properties. And you can see on the, on the graph here. We're way off from the usual pattern. Yeah, the, the, the usual pattern has been, has been busted. You can see it start to get a little wonky in 2020, as you might expect. And then here we're just sort of in un uncharted, out who, the window, who knows kind of territory. But new listings are, um, you know, they're they're very very flat. I mean, they're, they're 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 ticking up, but they're still historically very very low. Right. There, there's just usually a lot more properties on the market, and that is causing people some. Uh, grief and uh, consternation, I guess you'd All say. All right, let's check out closed sales. Closed sales, again, um, we're, we're off by 27.6% uh, in uh, detached homes from last year. And of course, that is, uh, would be strikingly bad economic news if it wasn't for so many less overall homes for sale. So that's just a function of that. And it just means a lot less folks are, are working because you know when you have 2,500 homes selling in a month, that's, that's a lot more jobs than uh, 1,200. Um, so again, uh, looking at the long-term chart on this one, uh, the, the, pattern is, the pattern is busted. We, we, <laughs> we would be able to tell you if we were sitting back here in 2017, we'd be very confident about what was coming next. At least a general trend. Uh, yeah, at least a general trend right now. It's, it's really hard to say where this goes next. Well, let's check out median price because we're right back to where we were in uh, April of last year at the peak, at least as far as detached home goes. We've got a $1 million median price on, on detached homes, and that's, that's peak pricing. It is. And this is where we got to uh, countywide last April, uh, $1 million, and then it's, the wheels kind of came off at that point. Uh, we lost roughly 15% very quickly. And then that has been building back and building back and building back every month since November of, of last year. So median price is uh, as high as it's, as, as it's ever been. And uh, we will see where it goes next month. However, with uh, pending sales still very strong and new listings still coming in very anemic, uh, it's highly unlikely you're going to see the median price go down next month. All right, let's have a look at the mortgage rates. Yes. Have um, you seen them for, for this week yet? I, I haven't looked at this yet. All right, yet. brace yourself. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, and so, I mean, this is really, as they say, the reason for the season. I mean, this number right here is definitely keeping sellers out of the market, which is making things harder for buyers 
who there still seem to be plenty of despite、uh, high rates. And the reason for that is, you know, you do, if you sell your home and get a great price, well, you got to live somewhere, and you don't want to trade your low rate for this new rate here. I mean, I was reading yesterday that uh, this uh, they did a survey. I forget who it was. Did a survey. I was reading this in a, in a mortgage、uh, newsletter from one of my mortgage friends. And they estimate that roughly 40% of、uh, adult homeowners in California are considering a move out of state, or would consider a move out of state. That's not to say that 40% of the people in California are leaving, but when asked, "Would you consider?" they they say yes. However,、uh, when you do consider it, you find out that、um, you can get a great price for your home here in California, pocket a lot of money. However, home prices are also high in the states that you might exit to, and rates are so high that once you start considering, the consideration comes back to we're staying put because it makes no sense to leave. Maybe you could like sell your house and go live with your cousin for a while and wait for rate rates、yeah. to settle out. Yeah, I might I might be thinking the same thing if I if I wanted to leave, but we we really don't. We we love it here and don't don't want to go anywhere.、Um, but there are a lot of Older folks, maybe even just a little older than us, that you know, once you retire and don't, you know, you don't have kids at home, you don't need to be in California.、Um, you know, other states might start to look attractive, I suppose. But yes, at six point eight one percent, I really, I just don't see how the affordability factor doesn't start to impact pricing.、Uh, at the same time, with Uh, more demand than supply. That's a simple rule of economics. Yes, demand is still outpacing supply, even though costs are high for buyers. Yeah, so it's it's a very、uh, strange market.、Um, anemic numbers in terms of overall volume. However, what is being listed is also being sold, and market times. Quickly,、yes. Yeah, market times are just blazing fast in most zip codes. All right. Well, is that it for today? That's what we got for you today. All right, folks. Well, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and comment.、Yep. Yes, and we'll be back next time with another update.